In this video, I will show you guys how to design this Beto Flyer in Corridor Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and without any further ado, we will jump straight. So these are the stocking menus which we will make use of and I'm going to put the link in the down description below. Welcome to Corridor Draw guys. So what we're going to do is change our units to inches. Alright. So the size we've been making use of is 10 by 10 inches. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it our rectangle tool and draw just this way and uh, make sure it's sized to 10 by 10 and press letter P on your keyboard to make it fit to frame. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the blood stroke. So to do that, drop your pixel over here on the tools bar and what I need my blood stroke is this outline color which we have back. So what you're going to do is just come over to this and uh, right click and select set outline color. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and um, go to import to import the stock images. Alright, so when you click on import, locate where your files are saved. Alright, so um, come to videos, alright, and, and click on import. Now we're going to just basically need to click and drag over here. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring it thus and place it just right there and uh, come over to this and select our text for this tutorial. So we're going to click on Ctrl plus C and come to our text tool. Just click over here and uh, press Ctrl plus V to paste it. So let's give it a white color so we can basically see what we're doing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it this background and uh, place it just right here. So this is basically what you're going to have. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, I want to scale this up. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a blur effect to this and go to effect and select your blur. So let's go ahead and blur and um, wait for this to load. Alright, so we're going to increase this just a little bit and um, basically leave that to 16.6 pixels and click on OK. Now drag this over here and right click on it and select power click then place it into the frame. Now, as you can see, it's not fitted to frame. What we're going to do is, we're going to right click and select um, edit power clip. So we're going to bring this to this prod and um, drag it just right there. And this is basically what we're going to have. So I'm going to click on finish and um, leave that to that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, I want to bring in this image. We're going to scale it up just right here and um, place it to the middle just right here. And um, the next thing we're going to do is to make this fit into the frame, basically right click and select power clip, then place it into the frame, just right there. And this is basically what you're going to have. So now let's scale this up a little bit and um, leave that to that. So click on finish. And this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, all right, basically I'm going to bring in this and um, place it just right here. And um, the next thing we're going to do is, well, before we put in this image, I'm going to bring in this background and um, right click on it and select power clip. So we're going to place it into this frame. Then right click again, select this power clip. So we're going to drag it and place it. So what we just need on this background is just this um, this line here. So this text is going to, we're going to take this text off. So we just need this line because I don't want the depth in the background. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is uh basically scale this up. Scale this up just right here. And uh what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna convert this to grayscale by going to bitmap, select mode, and select grayscale. Now we're gonna uh, use our transparency tool and blend this to the background by going to um the maze mode and select screen just right there. So let's try overlay. Let's try soft light and um, screen is the perfect option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use my transparency and reduce the opacity just this way. All right. So I just want that to be on the background just this way. And um, now I'm going to select this and use all shift and press page up on your keyboard. Shift plus page up on your keyboard to bring it to bring the image forward because this was actually um, showing on the face of the 
of the Celebrap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select finish and I'll leave that now. So you can see what we got. This is it on the background over here. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in this background. And I'm going to do something just, I just need this light here. So we're going to just basically select our transparency to fade out this edge. So like I told you that in corridor, if you want to fade out a multiple um, side in corridor, if you want to fade out multiple part, what you're going to do is once you fade out the first part, you go to your bitmap and bitmap the image so you can be able to, you know, fade out the other part. So let's try it just the way we did here. We're going to just select and um, select bitmap, then convert to bitmap. Make sure your, um, your color mode is on RGB and um, resolution 300 is fine. Then click on OK. Now we're going to fade out this and uh, same here, select bitmap. Click on OK. Now fade out this and uh, click on bitmap, convert to bitmap and click on OK. Now fade out this and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select our mesh mode and change this to screen and you can see that cool effect on the image so we don't want that on the image basically i just want to bring that just right here by the side and uh, right click on it so let's park it place it into the frame all right just right here and uh, i'm going to copy this if you want to shortcut of copy just click and drag on your mouse all right Select your mouse and uh, just drag it, or you can basically copy and paste Control C to copy, then Control V to paste. Just right here, then drag it over here, and uh, we're gonna just scale this up just right there a little bit. You can see that on the image, just like that. You can see that that's in the background, and um, that's all we're gonna have. So the next thing we're gonna do, guys, is I wanna bring in this image and uh, let's play around it. First of all, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to not flip it, but I'm going to um, yeah, flip to the, to the, it's facing the left, so we're going to flip to the right by going using our mirror tool to, you know, um, flip it to the right just this way, as you can see, just as simple as that. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to bitmap, select, we're going to change it to grayscale, all right? I want to change it to grayscale, so just go to bitmap, select mode, and change to grayscale. Now, uh, this is the same person, but we just want to have something behind, you know, keep the flyer busy, you know, something unique anyway. But I'm going to um, fade out this, as you can see, it's not looking unique. So to do that, right click and select power clip, then place it into the frame. Now, we're going to go into the frame, I right click and um, select a bit power clip to go into the frame. Now, what you're going to do is, uh, um, okay, let's uh, bring this one to make it go to the back of the um, image to have one select control and press page down on your keyboard. We're pressing it. You see it gonna take itself to the back and uh, this is basically what you're gonna have. So let me just bring this one here and um, okay, we'll leave that over here and that is cool. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna scale this one, load right here, and uh, I'm gonna take that just over there. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is select our transparency tool to fade out this. All right, let's fade it out to the background. Which right there, just as simple as that. And that is it, guys. That is it. So now you can see how it's blended to the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish and uh, let's leave that to that for now. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in this light for me, bring it over here, all right? So we're going to change the blend mode to screen by using our transparency tool, go to our uh, mesh mode and select screen. Now uh, we're going to just basically scale this up and we're going to place it just right here. So you can see it just as simple as that. All right, so we'll just need a reflection on this, on the first image. So we're gonna drag this one and leave that with that, and that is cool. All right, just as cool as that. So as you can see, this is actually getting out of frame. So we're gonna use our transparency. Oh, sorry, our um, shape to drag this way and take it just in there, and that is fine, guys. 
Now the next thing we're going to do is um, okay. I'm going to go into the frame again and copy this. Let's call this image, copy and paste it just the way it is, guys. Just the way it is. Leave it copy and paste and leave it that way. So use a transparency to fade out this to reveal the image. Like I told you guys, the work of the transparency tool is either to reveal or hide, right? Now we'll hide and reveal some part. Now what I'm going to do is basically just increase, all right? So we can reveal this and that is fine. So why I did this is because the text will be coming over here. So I just want something. I don't want the text to be competing with the background. So, you know, that is it. So now the next thing we're going to do is, um, all right, I want to take this background. If you look at some designs, I know you guys may have seen this in several designs where you will see some depth in the background, like, like, um, like, a, like it looks like a noise on the background, you know, makes it look cool. Or right, let's try it on this design and see the it's called. All right. So I want to just basically select and, um, let's change it to screen. Let's see what we have. So as you guys see, I know some of you might have seen this in some designs. So some of you, some of you might have said it. All right. But before that, let's just, um, Let's fill this part and convert it to bitmap. So let's fill out this part and convert to bitmap. All right. So once you do that, you can basically leave this one and um, change the screen. And that's what we're going to have. So I want to bring it this one over here. And I would going to basically reduce the opacity and just a little bit and just put it into the frame and just like that. And, uh, I'm going to bring this one down and leave that to that. And that's fine, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, all right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring in this. This uh, was called the pump, pump front. And we're going to rotate it this way. All right. So we're going to just basically keep that that way here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to gray scheme because I don't want it on green because not actually called on green anyway. And uh, I'm gonna go to bitmap, select mode, and change to grayscale. And this is basically what we're gonna have, guys. Let's change this to, let's try overlay and see. And cool with that, you know, cool with overlay. And right click and place it into the frame. Just as simple as that, guys. You know, we're coming up with that cool vibe, you know what I'm saying? So now what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in the text. All right. So like I said, on the text here, I'll write out the font, which I, I mean is off for the design. So you can check it out, download. I've shown you guys website where you can download. If you don't know how to download website, I'm um, sorry. If you don't know how to download fonts, you can go and check out that video and uh, download those fonts. As simple as that, guys. So I'm going to just basically cut out this. So the ability of the graphic designer is knowing how to manipulate text, right? You know how to manipulate this. A uh, client might not send you the text the way, like, at a range as you want. You have to know how to, you know, manipulate it just to make, get a unique stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out this. That's, the, that's his name. Place it just right here. Now, the font I'll be using for this one is called the Wings Bag. Now, I'm going to just copy the the font and just place just there. The wings back. Let's copy this way. And that is it, guys. Over here. All right. So change the first letter to capital letter. Scale this up. And we're going to just basically give this one just there. And, uh, you know, that's cool. I love it just the way it is. I wouldn't select this. Happy birthday. Place it just right here. So we're going to change the font of this to something cool. All right. I think that ticks, right? This is the font we're making use of. And I'm going to change this to uppercase by highlighting Control A to highlight. Then use Shift plus F3, Shift plus F3 to change to uppercase. Select uppercase and select OK. Now, this is what you're going to have. So the best thing we're going to do is we'll um, select this and um, break. Um, we're going to break this text apart by using Control plus K on our keyboard. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this one down a bit. 
then highlight everything and press letter R to take it to the right. That is the right alignment. Letter R on your keyboard, just as this. And you're cool with that. Now we're gonna just basically play this one just right here and now uh, you know that there and we're cool with that. So I'm gonna I downloaded the seal. Um if you notice in my other designs, I used to download this. If it has to do with age, number, or anything, I use it sometimes. Works for me though. You must you must not do what I'm doing if you have to. Actually do all works for you instead. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my overshape. And just basically place this here and then let's give it an outline so we can see. Now make sure everything is aligned. As you can see, it's aligned over here. Well, this down part is not, it's not aligned guys. So take it in and take this one in. And that is what we're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is right click on this and power clip it into the frame. So you can, as you can see, the background is gone. Now let's remove the black stroke which we put earlier. Now I'm gonna bring this one here and um, basically let's let's keep it here. Let's keep it as simple as that. And highlight all of this, make sure it's at the middle, and uh, I'm gonna change this one up a bit and link that. So as you can see, he's uh, at 45 yeah, he's on uh, congratulations, Mr. Tayo. Alright, so now we're gonna change this to Font called Trajas Pro. All right, so I want to put the names for you guys. Just open this notepad and check the name of the font. And I'm going to just basically scale this up and leave that. That now I'm going to select my shape too and reduce the of on the spacing. So as you can see, I have a gold background over here. I just want that to be kind of shiny. It's not easy to be. Fox 5, all right? It's not that easy. So you select and power clip it into this frame. As you can see, that cool vibe. I guess something is going on to the background there. So be mindful of all this text. So we just scale it up. Don't allow the text to show. It actually makes the bad design. One will have stop text showing on the background. So you see, We'll call with that. Now I'm going to bring in this light plate. All right. So I'm going to uh, basically change it to screen and um, bring it forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip, we're going to rotate this. Sorry, not flip, rotate. I'm going to just basically place that there and, um, you know, so let's fade out this edge, fade out this edge and um, place it here and bring another one here. And um, we have that cool lightning look there, and that's part of the cool lightning. So basically, I'm gonna uh, first of all let me let me bitmap this because I want to fill out this edge. I don't like that stuff coming out from that. So now we can change into uh, screen, and as you can see, it's better than having this this stuff over here. So you can see. There's one over here. Next, we're gonna do is cut out the date. The date day is on 9th of February, so we're gonna change it to um, Trials Pro. Bring this one down and um, use our shape tool and drag this up. There was right there and reduce that and basically hit that over there. And you're good and you're good with that. So we're gonna bring up this wish and uh, Basically, we're going to change this to uh, center alignment by my clicking. Sorry, highlighting and going to, we're going to go to our property bus, select center alignment. The shortcut is control E. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to reduce this. And uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, we're going to select my, my shape too and um, increase the spacing just right here. and. The next thing we're going to do is change the color to this. All right, the lights yellow. Now, this is basically what we're going to have. So, last but not the least, I'm going to do here is scale this up. As you can see, this kind of a dirty background. I just want to make give it a depth on this design. So, I'm going to scale this up. So, once you do that, cut it and um, 
going to the friend, paste it just right here. And um, you can scale it up just right here and um, select the transparency tool, change it to screen. As you can see that cool effect on the background there. So we're going to basically um, reduce the opacity, you understand? And um, I just leave that to that and um, boom, guys. This is basically how we design this unique bed notes layer in Corinthia. If you have another question, guys, don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below. And um, give this video a thumbs up. See you guys in my next video.